back to the channel where this episode I'm featuring one from the Aslan Beer Company. This here is their Baby Shark. So Aslan Beer Company located in Virginia. It does list two locations, Alexandria, Virginia, and Herndon, Virginia. I do not know where this was actually uh, brewed in Canada, which location, but see the just the shark mouth opened up right you see the shark eyes there on the side now this is only coming in at five and a half percent alcohol by volume perhaps that's why it's called the baby shark ipa because it doesn't have a big abv i don't know uh it's a it's, 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 no real reading on it actually sorry about that don't have a lot of information for you on this one here uh, it does say store at 35 to 45 degrees keep cold drink fresh so it was kept cold been out of the refrigerator maybe five ten minutes uh still got a chill to it you can still kind of see it on the can there but definitely cool artwork right there you got the aslan uh logo and then kind of a variation i guess you got the aslan logo on a hook there and kind of the worm form so definitely pretty cool so we're going to crack this open. It is five and a half percent. It's probably when I picked it up at the uh, barrel house, it was uh, fresh delivery there. It might have been it might have been a week old there when I picked it up and I've had it maybe maybe six weeks. So I know it's within two months old, so it should be very fresh still. So I'm going to crack it open and uh, get a pour on it and we'll get it in the glass and see what the heck it's all about. So at five and a half percent, I'm not expecting a whole bunch from this, but hey, I could be surprised here. So yeah, we got a ridiculous, embarrassing pour on this thing right there. Um, we'll, we'll let it settle down, see if we can get it to settle down a little bit. So while it's settling down there, you see just um, about uh, a mile long, um, you know, stretch of just a, uh, a white head. It's very white, right? White, as white as the eyes on the shark there, as white as those teeth. White, I do got carbonation uh, released on the side here, but there's a thick, thick creaminess to this, to this head up on top of this thing here. We'll see if we can get uh, a little bit more in here without you know, going too nuts or anything like that. So I think we're down to just over four fingers on this head here. So while it's, uh, well, that massive, crazy head is, you know, hopefully starting to die down a little bit. Let's look at that. So it is a little bit more hazy, got a more of a haziness to it. Uh, than I was expecting, a 5.5%. I was expecting actually somewhat of a lighter colored or a lot more clarity to this, but it does have a decent, you know, New England style, New England vibe to it. Uh, just that oranginess to it. It does look a lot darker there on camera, uh, but it's got a nice, nice haziness. I can see the silhouette vaguely the silhouette of my finger on the back side looking at the, into the light there and uh you know very very hazy murkiness to it as far as the nose if i can get anything faint citrus lemony Maybe a little bit of a mango to it, a little bit of a tropical, uh, faint citrus, faint tropical, a uh, little bit of a lemony, lemoniness to it, I guess. I got uh, kind of a whiff of that first time around. Doesn't smell overly fantastic, but it doesn't smell, you know, off-putting or offensive or anything like that to anybody, or at least to me. So that's pretty much it on the nose. Not a ton going on here, but it's not hateful. Let's get a drink on this thing, see what it's all about. Uh, 
That's very light body. For an IPA, it does got a crisp, like a kick to it, like a crisp, um, you know, pop to it. Man, I knew it was going to be thin. I knew it was going to be thinner body. And that, my friends, it definitely is very thin. Not a ton going on in the taste. You know, it does have this, more of this uh, lemony, uh, citrusy, lemon, mango, I don't want to say, tropical in general. Uh, citrus, tropical, a little bit of this like lemon zestiness to it. So it's not real aromatic beer. Uh, it's not overly um, flavorful. Now, if you know that person that's like, man, I don't like IPAs, um, this might be something that they like. It's very much on the the lighter, very easier drinking uh, for maybe your non-IPA uh, lovers out there. Uh, just... Honestly, just tastes like a good Pale Ale, really. A good, simple Pale Ale. Nothing too crazy about it. Nothing offensive. Uh, as far as scoring this, for what it is, I could drink it. I could drink this again. This would be something to drink. If I was just hanging out and I didn't want to, like, drink a, something with a really high ABV, but I wanted something different than your, you know, some adjunct, you know, macro lager or something like that. Uh, nothing overly crazy. Yeah, I could definitely do this on a, in a situation like that. I could, you know, easily, easily crush a few of these in one night. Uh, so taking all that into account and scoring this, I think I might up it to a four out of five. Um, I don't hate it by any means. I could drink it by any time. Uh, that I wanted a lighter filling, lighter bodied beer. Um, but it's not overly flavorful or, or you know, anything like that. It's very light, easy drinking. Um, like I said, for an IPA, it, it comes across very, very crisp there uh, in the taste. So just for that, I give it a solid four out of five. Anyhow, like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media. Uh, be sure, hey, you had this before? You had something from Aslan? Let me know what you think about that. Thanks for watching.